Good day, Mustangs. Thank you for joining us once again. It's Tuesday, March 8th, 2022, and I'm Amir Islam. In the headlines, it's gold for the Jane siblings, last chance to purchase spring formal tickets, a strong win for the middle school math team, and keeping an eye on the future city shark team. But first, it's time for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now for our top story. FSA senior siblings, Shivam and Akshada, secured their gold medal congressional award for service and initiative among youths. This award is not an overnight achievement, but requires consistency in completing goals and tasks. It provides opportunities for young people to achieve personal goals centered around volunteerism, character development, and fitness. Juniors and seniors, you still have one more day to purchase your spring formal tickets. It's a first for FSA, and the class of 2022 seniors get to experience an event their predecessors couldn't have due to COVID. The event will run from 7 to 11 and follow the theme under a starry night. There will also be indoor and outdoor options for socializing and dancing. Unlike homecoming, tickets will not be sold at the door, so make sure you buy your tickets by tomorrow. It's time to review FSA's mission statement. To deliver an educational framework designed to achieve the highest academic results and instilling enduring strength of character by leveraging innovation and STEM curriculums for college preparedness and lifelong student success. A call goes out to the FSA community to help the Future City Shark team win the People's Choice Award, the hashtag Future City 2022 team. Shark made it to finals. They are now in the running for the People's Choice Award, but need your help. All you have to do is vote via the link found in the newsletter on the various FSA social media platforms. You can also scan the QR codes on the screens located around campus. The winner of this award will be announced on the virtual Future City Awards celebration set for March 23rd. The middle school math team competes weekly in the spring 2022 National Bracket Math Tournament, which is online. The team members get the opportunity to go up against schools from all over the country. The most recent competition saw FSA opposing St. Alsom's Abbey School in Washington, D.C. The FSA team secured the match win with the score of 32 to 13. Team coach Miss Duziel told Mustang News that the goal is to win the bracket tournament. We must always keep the vision of FSA in mind. Fulton Science Academy Private School endeavors to be a nationally recognized school serving advanced and gifted students committed to academic success, civic responsibility, global citizenship, and high ethical values within a safe environment that celebrates diversity and is nurtured by the collaborative efforts of all stakeholders. FSA held their own at the Georgia Student Technology Competition, or GASTC. Of the 19 teams that competed, 16 teams have moved on to the state competitions. Coaches Corcomez and Saley shared with the Mustang News that the results are outstanding and they can't wait to see how they perform at state. Participants ranged from 7th to 12th grades in a variety of events ranging from device modification to digital game design and even mobile app development. It's time to find out if you need that umbrella or not as spring approaches. So let's take a look at the weather. According to the Weather Channel, you should expect a mostly sunny day. The high is 47 degrees Fahrenheit and the low is 47 degrees Fahrenheit, with winds being at 4 to 7 miles per hour there is only a 6% chance of rain. With warmer weather, also comes a burst of pollen and increased discomfort for allergy sufferers. A glance at pollen.com indicates a trend to medium to high levels on the index daily. For a detailed look and to see what is in the high bloom for today, visit pollen.com. At the age of 17 in 2014, she became the youngest person to win the Nobel Peace Prize after surviving an assassination attempt by the Taliban. We are talking about none other than Malala Yousafzai. Especially for Women's History Month, 
Malala shows that age has nothing to do with making history and reminds us that everyone has a voice. She used her voice to bring awareness to education for girls in Pakistan, reminding the world out loud that we realize the importance of our voice when we are silenced. Ready for some laughs? It's time for the joke of the day. How do bees get to school? By school buzz. In keeping with the updated CDC protocols, masking at FSA is now optional. However, you still need to complete your daily wellness check on school pass. The school nurse cautions, if you are feeling sick, stay home. As always, the first person you need to get in touch with, if you are experiencing symptoms, exposed to someone who tested positive, or if you yourself has a positive test, is the school nurse. On another note, attendance issues and doctor's notes should be sent to attendance at FultonScienceAcademy.org. And students, remember, you should always be in the correct uniform, unless it is a dress down day. Stay safe and healthy, Mustangs. And don't forget to subscribe to FSA's YouTube channel. I am Amira Islam, reminding you that when we, you, and I care, we are always hashtag stronger together.